Hello there YouTube. Okay, this is video number two of working with um, with images onto a database. And um, I've realized that um, our picture box being on our form one, when you're adding images to a database, is actually the wrong place. So um, what I've done is I've moved the picture box, the button, and um, I've also put a new file dialog, everything onto page number two. There is our image that we're going to add, there's our button, and there's our open file dialog. Okay, I've also added the code, the same as the, the previous video, where we've added the same code. Okay, that just allows us to select an image and stick it in here. Okay, um, so what I've done um, is I've already written the code <laughs> by mistake because this video was actually longer than 15 minutes. So um, all the code's already in, so I'm just going to show you what I've done. Okay, so um, the first thing is that when we add items um, it used to be nothing alright because remember in video 1 we changed um, our insert command to nothing okay but what I've done is I've created a function that converts the image into bytes okay so I've said public function convert image I just gave it a name convert image I have um, added a value my image as image and I want to send back a byte. It's very important to put your open and close parenthesis there because um, the byte is in different lengths. Okay? So if you didn't have it there, you'll have an error at the bottom here. But anyway, the first step was, um, or is, when you're converting an image to um, bytes, is you need to have that image in memory. Okay? You need to have that image so that the um, system can read it. So before you can read anything, you need to import some of the functions. So what I've done is I've import the system drawing image, and I've also imported system IO, which is your filing mechanism and everything like that. Okay. So um, by importing those two, you will be able to create a memory stream. So what I've done is I've created uh, a new memory stream. I called it mStream as new memory stream okay also very important put the two brackets there <laughs> excuse me um, with that I have then said my image which is this image here save so because now we need to save an image that we pass to our converter the image needs to be saved into the memory stream so it says save into the memory stream as what? So it actually asks you the property. If I just change it, you can see the image format that it wants. Okay. And um, what I've done is I've actually looked at my pictures. And in my sample pictures, I looked at the properties. And then you can see it's a JPEG image. Okay. All of these are JPEG images. So um, I have changed the file format to JPEG very important if you're working with um, different file types it's important to have the right type okay it might save it but when it comes back it's something different <laughs> okay so definitely a very important to keep your JPEG or MPEG or um, bitmap or BMP or whatever you want to save okay the next step would be to convert our stream into bytes so I've created a new thing and I've declared a new my bytes and you have to indicate the size of it okay and the size of my bytes would be the same size as my stream minus one the reason being is my stream starts on one byte starts on zero so to have the same length I need to minus one from my stream okay as a byte then we have uh, said, okay, um, because we are reading from my stream. Now, the reader itself could be positioned anywhere. For example, if you are busy reading an image and your application freezes or stops or the database connection fails, then the position of the reader would be halfway um, between the beginning and the end of your stream. So what we need to do is make sure that every time you convert an image, it starts at zero. So we just change my stream position position equals zero. Okay? We're resetting 
the position of the reader okay so then we start reading the file and we go mystream.read where we want to save it to we want to save it to our bytes it starts at zero and it ends with this message stream length so it reads everything from zero to the end okay so once my bytes have now been populated with the stream I send my bytes back to the convert image okay so how do we use it in our insert command okay I'm going to change nothing to convert image okay and the image that it needs to convert is the image in my picture box one which is the image from here okay so it'll be me dot picture box one dot image and it's as simple as that seriously okay so now we have all of this information we have that um, we now go back to page one because we've removed the image here we need to stick the image from our database okay now you can see that um, the picture might have changed since the last time I'm just gonna make sure that it's a picture box I'm gonna if you don't have picture box in your list you can customize and you can select um, image from there just check image but because I've already got picture box there I'm just gonna drag and drop it onto the form I don't want ah maybe I do just leave it up there that's the name pick um, I also want it to be quite nice and square so um, the size I'm gonna change to maybe 150 by a hundred and fifty okay um, seems a bit small but it should be alright and I also need to change the size mode to stretch image to make sure that all pictures fit in the same box okay I'm gonna squeeze it up a bit and let's give it a test okay um, so I'm gonna add a new person I'm gonna go um, uh, the title would obviously be Mr. Trini. His last name would be Leaves. Okay, he doesn't have a telephone number, fax, or contact email. I'm going to add an image and um, put a tree with leaves. Okay, there we go. And we click Add Items. As you can see, it's saved it properly. Click OK. I'm going to close this and there's Mr. Tree. If I click on it, the image comes back from the database. As easy as that. So um, I hope this helps. Um, obviously you can subscribe to my video channels. You can also um, send a contact, a friend request and I'll be able to help you if you're stuck with any of these. So um, I shall speak to you later. Cheers.